Good morning, it's Janine. How are we? Let me get my coffee. It's coffee talk time. Today is Monday, June 13th, and I am here to make a update video. Um, it's gorgeous out today. It's beautiful. It was beautiful out for the last... It's been gorgeous out for quite some time, actually. It's been really nice. Um, I went to a um, Irish festival yesterday, and um, it was so windy. Like, my phone kept getting these uh, weather alerts for gale force because the wind was like 45 miles an hour. And we're all sitting under huge tents, and they're whacked into the ground. The tents are hit into the ground with stakes, and the stakes, uh, various stakes, kept coming up from the ground. And the poor guys working the festival kept having to come around and whack them back in again. It was like, oh, that's it. We're going to be like the flying nuns. And uh, the festival was right in front of the church that in The Godfather Part 2 when Michael is making all the deals at the christening to, you know, take care of everybody, that church, it was right in front of that church. Half of The Godfather movie was filmed on Staten Island. Like the Corleone house, that's in Tottenville on Staten Island. It still exists. There are people living in that house. They just rented out the house to do the movie. Um, that church, we were there yesterday. I should have taken a damn picture. God damn it. Anyway, um, but it's a beautiful church. It's beautiful. It actually had a fire. And uh, the interior of the church is actually burned down. Um, but they kept the exterior just because it's beautiful. So, they rebuilt it, but um, it's gorgeous. Anyway, I'm done giving you Staten Island history. Moving on. The last time I weighed in, I think I was like 148 and change, um, something like that. I weighed in this morning and I was 153.2. My happy range of weight is between 153, oh my god. I'm sorry. Uh, my happy range of weight is between 140, like 145 and 155. I'm getting real close to the top end. Real close. I'm hugging it. So, um, in my mind, it's time to check myself. Um... And the only way my body responds to checking myself working with my duodenal switch surgery is to low carb it. To knock it down to low carb. Um, that's it. That's my only way. Um, you know, cutting down on calories does nothing. Um, it's just low carb or nothing. So I am going to be watching my carbs. I'm going to be watching my sugar. And, um, that's it. That's all I can do. Bump up the protein, bump up the fat, and see how I do from there. Um, I prefer being on the low end of the spectrum. I like being around 145-ish, just because it gives me more wiggle room. Um, so me being at 153 feels uncomfortable, even though it's not. But... What I've, I've been emotionally eating for the last week. I've had a rough week. And um, so, you know, it's just from emotional eating. Um, I've been medicating myself with food um, and shopping. And uh, <laughs> neither one is healthy. And, um, you know, you, you get that anxious feeling in your stomach and that heavy feeling on your heart. So you eat to get a full feeling in your stomach and that numbs out the anxious feeling in your stomach because you're too full to feel anxious. So it numbs it out, you know? So 
that's all you know how to do. We all did it, and or most of us did it, I should say. I'm still doing it. I still do it. You know, there were so many days where if it was not nailed down, I ate it. It didn't matter if I was hungry or not. I didn't care. Serve it to me. It was ridiculous. Anyway. Um, I got a book uh, at the um, bookstore. It's right there. I should really pick it up and show you it. But um, I posted it on Facebook. It's called Fuck Feelings. It's funny. I walked into the bookstore and um, I needed a book. I needed a book to help me uh, cope. And um, because I was tired of emotional eating. I was sick of it. I knew it was a, you know, wrong cyclical habit and I needed to stop it. So I was like, alright, attack the problem. Enough. Enough floundering. Enough. I go to Barnes & Noble thinking I'm going to walk into the self-help section and browse for an hour, pick up a book I'll know nothing about, and crapshoot it. What else can you do? I walk in, and you know how they have the new release table as soon as you walk in the bookstore? Right on the new release table is a big yellow book, hardcover, that says, Fuck Feelings. It was like God knew I was coming, and he planted the book there for me. Here you go, babe. Here's your book. Pick it up. Go to the checkout. Take care. So I picked it up. I bought a uh, small book for my daddy for Father's Day, coming up. And I left. That was easy. I'll uh, let you know how I like it when I'm done with it. You know, unfortunately, I read kind of slow after the aphasia um, from my brain surgery. And, um, you know, which sucks, but what else? Um, but I think I'm like 30 pages into it. I only got a chance to read it one day. <gasps> I'm sorry, it's only 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, or 6.15. And, um, so, uh, you know, I, um, haven't had a chance to read it too much. So, but so far I really like it. Basically, the book is about accepting that life can suck sometimes. You don't always have to go to the root of a problem. You don't have to spend so much time and energy investigating the reasons behind issues. Sometimes you just have to relax and say, you know what? It sucks. Accept it. Try to find a solution and move on. It's just kind of about relaxing. It's something I need. Because I go into investigatory mode constantly. I mean, I'm a little obsessive about it. Thinking that doing investigation on the issue that's at hand is going to get me a better solution. And that I'll cure the problem forever. That doesn't work. So, I don't know. I'm going to finish the book and I'll let you know how I like it. So, summer be it June 13th, is coming, and I am excited as fuck. I am so excited. Summer is my favorite season. You know, a lot of people love winter because they love snow. Um, a lot of people love spring because everything's blooming. A lot of people love fall because, you know, the leaves fall and, um, you know, they're big Halloween fans and they like, um, you know, uh, pumpkin flavored everything. <laughs> um, I'm a summer girl. I'm a summer baby. I was born in July, so that's it. I'm a summer baby. Um, my favorite holiday is July 4th, is the 4th of July. It's my favorite holiday. And um, so I'm excited. I'm really excited. It's going to be an awesome summer. Summer 16. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, I already went to uh, the Bronx Zoo. Check. 
already went to Coney Island. Check. Uh, 4th of July is coming. And I do 4th of July every single year at Kelly's. Um, so, which is always phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, it's just a pool party with her and her girls. And usually Cher comes over um, with her girls. And we just... It is just the definition of bonding. I mean, the definition to the key of bonding. It's just wonderful. And I'm usually the grill master, and it's just amazing. It's an amazing time. So that's going to be my 4th of July. And, um, you know, what better way to end... Sorry, that's my phone. What better way to end, you know, the summer than the AC meet and greet August 20th. Um, you know, a lot of people haven't bought tickets but say they're going to go. Um, don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> get the damn tickets. Um, you know, you got to get it. Uh, so, the AC meet and greet August 20th, um, you know, I did a video mm -hmm. for it. I did a promo video for it for for Garen Tommy, um, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a sorority fraternity weekend. It's amazing. Um, there's no reason you shouldn't go. You can kick it up or tone it down as much as you want. Um, you know, you don't have to go as crazy as all of us do. Um, you know, you can just sit back and people watch. Sit on your phone and take pictures of us going ape shit. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Mazel tov. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. It's just fun. It's funny. Um, really, I really suggest you go. I suggest you experience it. I really do. It's amazing. Um, you gotta go. You really do. You gotta go. And the social anxiety thing, which I've had a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people private message me on Facebook like more than a dozen people private message me on Facebook and ask me about social anxiety questions. Um, you know, if I go, um, will, you know, everybody like me and, you know, I don't know anybody there and who do I talk to? Where do I sit? Um, you know, I've had an issue with this person and I think that um, I might be rejected, blah, 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 you know, those sorts of questions whatever whatever don't think about it who gives two flying fucks what people think of you let it go just let it go drop it you're there for you you're there for you nobody's gonna sit behind your back at the AC meet and greet and that's not what the AC meet and greet group does. It's a different group of people. It really is. I'm serious. I swear to you from my heart. It's a different group of people. We don't, the East Coast meet and greet, we don't, how do I put it? We're not clicky. We're not clicky. We don't, um, gossip. We don't, um, the most gossiping we do is like, I'll ask Tommy, Tommy, what's that girl's name? The one in the pink. You know, that's it. That's as gossipy as we get. Because I don't know somebody's name. That's as gossipy as we get. You know, or, you know, is, is that guy with her? You know, because I want to know if I can hit on that guy. That's it. That's as gossipy as we get. Okay, that's it. I just, you know, we just want to know who we can and can't approach and how and ca how we can and can't approach them. That's it. We don't gossip. We just don't. We are so approachable. We are so non-judgmental. That's just us. I don't know if it's an East Coast thing, if it's because you're in the tri-state area. I don't know what it is. But that's just us. We don't do it. We just don't. We're not clicky. 
It's not high school. We're out of that. We're out of that. We grew up from there. We grew up. We threw in the high school card. We're done. We're done. We're over it. So, really, I really suggest you give it a go. I really do. Don't forget to go to the Facebook page and buy the tickets through that, okay? I think you've only got one week left before the prices shoot up another $10 to get a ticket. So, please, get it done. Um, and I think that's all I want to... Oh, one thing. So, there is a... Uh, food find. Food find. I drove to, I forgot the name of the town, but it's by Harrisburg in Pennsylvania, 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 Pennsylvania. I was in Pennsylvania, um, a month ago-ish, a month ago-ish, and I was seeing Amber, and um, a lot of you guys know Amber on Facebook, and, um, so, uh, I was there. I, I got invited to her uh, family's house for dinner. And it was amazing. It was absolutely fucking amazing. And um, not only one, do I love Amber. Two, I have a crush on Amber. Three, her family is phenomenal. Um, and four, her son is like the cutest thing you've ever seen in your freaking life. Um, he's just like a little adorable ball of energy. He's adorable. Um, anyway, we had a salad dressing by a company called Gazebo. They sell it in a chain of supermarkets called Publix. Um, which we don't have in New York. We do not have the supermarket called Publix in New York. Um, I don't even know if they have that supermarket in New Jersey either. Um, I don't know. But um, anyway, the flavor is called Greek. Uh, and I swear to you, it is the best dressing I've ever had in my life. Holy Jesus, Mary and Joseph. The best. It is a, you know, sort of a oil and vinegar sort of dressing. And it's got an insane amount of herbs in it. And um, it's just phenomenal. You can buy it off the website. Um, and uh, it's just, um, off the website, they charge you a $10 shipping fee. Um, because, you know, it's heavy, um, because you order, um, 12 of them, a case of 12, and, uh, so, you know, to order 12 bottles of dressing is kind of, you know, heavy, and, um, oh, good, here's a picture, hang on, that's what it looks like, I hope you can see that, okay, so, that's what the dressing looks like. I'm telling you. I promise you. Get the damn dressing. Get it. I ordered six of them off Amazon. It was expensive off Amazon. I think it was like uh, $60 for six of them. And um, <clears throat> because I didn't know the gazebo website sells it too. So I paid $60 for six of them. I think I only have one bottle left. Um, I go through like a bottle of it in a day and a half. It's just, I, I did four hearts of romaine lettuce yesterday alone. I kid you not. I kid you the fuck not. It is just salad, 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 salad. salad. I mean, I, I just, I don't stop. I don't stop. It's so good. It's so amazing. So if you're a heavy duty salad person, or you want to be a heavy duty salad person, give this shit a go. It's incredible. You can buy it off the website, and no, I'm not getting paid for gazebo dressing. I promise. I'm just letting you know food find. It's incredible. It's really good shit. Um, anyway, I think I'm good. Um, I think I covered everything. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you're enjoying your beginning of summer because, you know, it's been nice out. Or at least it has been in Staten Island. So, um, I hope you guys have a great 
rest of your June and I'm gonna make another video soon. Oh, quick question. What would you like me to make next? Um, I did sauce for you. I did, um, I did a baking video finally. Um, I can't think of something else you'd like me to make. I've done chicken. Um, did shrimp. Everything else is kind of extensive. Um, so, I don't know what you want me to do. Give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. And uh, I'll work with your ideas. I'll figure out something, okay? I love you guys. I love you to pieces. I'll talk to you later. Bye.